hello guys welcome today we'll see how to create an XML document with using the DTD that is document type definition and without DTD so I'm using the notepad plus plus you can use any editor so I'll take the new file and set the language as XML question mark XML I'll set the version as 1.0 encoding that is UTF-8 then it depends what information do you want to store so let's say I want to store the information for library I want to store the information for library details so within library the, let's say it is the issued tag it's your choice now within issued let's say it is containing the information issued to so it has been issued to let's say any faculty then inside that what information let's say it contains book ID that is let's say C001 book ID should be closed next information it contains the date let's say the date is 5th of May 2020 date let's say it contains next next is details what information does it contains who has the book has been issued to whom let's say his name is Peter and his ID may be his faculty ID in case a student let's say student ID so let's say ID is F001 that next I'll close the details that is the information for one of the issued book let's say there is another book that has been issued to one of the student his let's say the book ID was JV001 it has been issued on 6th of May his name is let's say that his name is Paul and his ID is ST001 so if it is done let's save this file file save let's say the file name is library dot XML let's save on the desktop save saved run launch internet explorer maybe you can directly run from the desktop as well now you can see it's containing the information as an XML as a tree as a hierarchical order library contains issue to faculty his details then issue to the student his details that is now we have seen the example without using the DTD let's create an DTD for this information so DTD means the document type definition let's create a document type definition so for that let's create an external we'll see how what is an how to create an external internal document type definition doc type for library system maybe the file maybe we can name it as library dot DTD that is the file now we need to create that DTD file so let's say file new will create a DTD file for that one that is containing the information regarding the or let's say we are using the another window for this or we can even use the let's say notepad in the notepad we can see how to create this DTD even you can use notepad plus plus so I just using the notepad any editor is any editor is okay now let's say I am using element element 
is my library which contains issued as a tag and it can contain multiple I put asterisk that means it can contain multiple records. So, let me close this. Now, the next is it can contain next information it can contain let us say next information that is issued it contains the issued contains book id then it contains date and it contains details so you can see it issued contains book id date and details so i'll close this then my book id my book id it contains book id that is contain past data so hash pc data the next it contains the date that is the parse data now the next is it contains the details but in details you can see there are many options so details it contains name within details we have name and id so we will create for this two name and id it can be many next is again element that is for name hash pc data for id that is also the PC data now we have mentioned all the list based on this information now you can see this issued it contains an attributes issued contains an attributes as well so this issued contains attributes as well so we need to define att list that means attribute list that is for issued we have attribute name 2 let us say it contains character data and if you want to set any default value you can set default as student even you can mention required or implied based on the your parser or validator what you are using so let me save file save i have saved this file on the desktop so let me save on the desktop the file name should be library.dtd library.dtd so i am saving this file save now this is an external file i am using it uh, differently now that means is it an standalone file no it is not an standalone so we will write down standalone no that means it is not an standalone file so let me save and run this file it is running again but now it is defined under the doc type dtd so this is a doc type we have created for this details if you want in case you don't want an external you want an internal information for example you want to store the information with, uh, the dtd in the same page you want to store the information of dtd in the same page in that case you can just remove this
sorry you can just remove this one and paste your code from here copy your code and paste it here that is how if you in case you want the internal ATD so now we need to change this to yes and make sure there should be space after every element make sure there should be space after every element once it, uh, it is done it, done it is an internal DTD save this file and just run now you can see you are checking this file as an internal DTD yes, internal DTD thank you in case of any questions you can write down in the comment box